If you're feeling under pressure, either at your job or in your business, you will want to watch this video because you will find out something about yourself that probably nobody has ever truly told you about you. And you're probably wondering, okay, who is this guy on the other side of the world who is going to tell me something that I don't know about myself? Well, it's the thing that you do know it, but you're not really fully using this aspect of yourself. And to give you a better idea of what I mean, I'm going to share a story with you that actually happened recently. And if you're new here, welcome to the Warrior Shaman Mindset channel and big salute to all of my Warrior Shamans. If you're new, comment below. Let me know. Let me greet you properly. And uh, my name is Bogdan. I'm the creator of the Warrior Shaman uh, Mindset program that helps eliminate limiting beliefs fast. And I think in the second month of us working together, if I remember correctly, you hit 25k. Yes. Your last month, March was what? Almost 18,000. So 17,800. Mm -hmm. And I think you said that was really the easiest money you ever made, right? Easiest. I did nothing to, to get clients. I literally did nothing. What was business like? What was life like before we started working together? And then what happened in terms of the shift and in terms of the numbers? Business was incredibly stressful and life was really non-existent. I felt like I had no purpose outside of making money. I never felt good. I was always stressed, always looking for the next client. Where are they going to come from? Always freaking out about money so that you can grow your business with a lot more ease and less stress. Now, that being said, I was talking to an exceptionally powerful coach. She's a manifestation master, but she was feeling under tremendous pressure, both in, his, in her business, but also because she was um, pregnant, right? And that wasn't really helping. And we were talking about the whole situation and I asked her, who are you? And she said, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a soul having a human experience. I said, yeah, 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 right. But who are you? Are you your pregnancy? Are you the current pressure that's going on in your business? Or are you something else? Have you had moments in your life when you were dealing with tremendous pressure, but you just chose something different where you just chose joy i mean did you have pregnancies where you were actually very happy very light very excited about uh you know the baby and actually about being pregnant and she was like yeah i actually had one experience like that exactly so who's to say that your external circumstances should dictate how you feel i mean Think of it this way, I ask, how are you going to feel at the end of the pregnancy when you're going to have your baby in your arms and when things are going to start moving again in your business in the way that you prefer? And she's going to be like, she was like, oh, I'm going to feel elated. I'm going to feel so excited. I'm going to feel free. I said, exactly. So who's to say that you cannot compress time and be that person right now, feel that way right now, instead of waiting for things to change externally? Because if that's the plan, right, if you're waiting for things to shift in your business, things to shift in your job, things to shift in your relationships in order for you to feel less pressure, it's going to take a long, long, long time. And you know that you probably already had many experiences in that sense when you were trying to change the physical with the physical. But life is not that. Life is a reflection of who we are internally, how we feel internally. Yes. And I know that most people, when there's pressure in the external environment, we choose stress. But when we choose stress, we actually become dumber. The brain doesn't work properly, right? It's like it has incoherent. <clears throat> the brain becomes incoherent. <laughs> my English is leaving my body. Incoherent. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst attempt to pronounce a word ever. Anyway, you get it. It, it produces incoherence in your body. Um, and when you step out of that state and you step into a state of peace, a state of allowance, a state of joy, of excitement, of um, celebrating 
the pressure, celebrating the external circumstances, whatever that may be, because think of it this way, you know that it's just gonna make you better. So when you have fun with whatever is happening, you just become smarter and you become more resourceful, more creative, and you get out on the other side a lot more, uh, a lot much faster. Now, is this shift easy to do? I mean, you're gonna watch this video and you're gonna feel really good, but is it just that? And the answer is no, it takes working out. It takes building up this muscle of choosing how you're gonna feel in regardless of what's happening around you. It takes exercise and discipline. But once you build up that muscle, guess what? You have this muscle built and you can use it in any future situation to move out of it faster and faster and faster. But you gotta start somewhere, right? So building up this muscle of choosing who you want to be in a specific situation takes weeks. But what's the option? I mean, this idea of reacting to external circumstance, you've been doing it most of your life. So of course, it's going to take a while for you to build up this muscle. But again, once you do it, you can replicate it in any situations of your life. So the thing that I want to share about you that I shared with um, this person is that she is exceptionally powerful. She had many aspects in her life where she chose who she wanted to be in the face of tremendous pressure, in the face of everybody's reacting in a certain way to this circumstance, I'm going to choose something different. And I can bet that you've had similar situations in your life where you chose something different, where you chose to act differently despite everyone around you freaking out or show courage when everybody was showing fear. I know you've had moments like this in your life. I know 100%. But the, the, the circumstances were different. Maybe you believe that you can be that way in, I don't know, if you're practicing martial arts like I did in, uh, for years, maybe you believe you can show courage when it comes to physical confrontation, right? When it comes to fighting, but you don't really believe you can show that level of courage in your business of choosing your state. And I'm here to tell you, no, if you could do it in one aspect of your life, you can do it in other aspects of your life. But you need to let go of this belief that I'm this way when I'm talking to friends, but I'm this other way when I'm doing business. That's not true. If you can relax and show your best self with your friends or I don't know, in uh, any other circumstance, maybe when you're surfing, you're allowing yourself to be relaxed and enjoy the moment, then that same self is accessible when it comes to business too. This is what maybe nobody ever told you about you. You're tremendously powerful and you have the ability to choose. Is this making sense? Let me know in the comments below if this is resonating. And if you'd like a bit of help, a bit of personal touch from me, there's a link below. Choose a time, only have a few spots left. And until next time, check out this powerful video that will help tremendously with scaling your business with a lot more ease and less stress so that you can enjoy peace and enjoy your life a lot more.